The other day, while I was running some errands at Walmart, I decided to check out the gaming section just for fun since I haven't checked it out in a while. And what I saw was very disappointing to say the least. At my local Walmart, we have only two aisles dedicated to gaming, and the selection is pretty bare bones. There are some new releases here and there, a few consoles, and pretty discounted prices. And the kiosk to test out games is quite sad. The only gaming console you could test out was Switch, and the demos available seemed so to be quite limited. When you compare it to the experiences of the early to mid 2000s, it's like night and day. I remember when my mom had to do shopping and my brother and I would make a beeline for the gaming electronics section and play on the consoles on display, or just look at the amazing gaming selection in the store. So after looking at the sad gaming collection at Walmart, it made me realize that the medium of physical games seems to be dying down. Hello everyone, my name is Fedjiro and this is Cozy Fedji and on this channel we cover a variety of things such as let's plays, JRPGs, and all things cozy gaming. So after my recent trip to Walmart, it made me really think about all the times I went to other retailers recently such as Target, and Best Buy, and even GameStop and it made me realize that the gaming selection is honestly looking pretty sad and the stock that they have in store isn't all that great. And so it got me thinking, with this new rise of digital gaming and how with gaming I feel like our future is definitely going to be pushed towards the digital forefront with consoles like the Xbox Series S and PS5 also having a whole separate digital console. Is digital gaming becoming the new thing? And if so, how does that affect the physical gaming market as well? So I wanted to talk about that, have a little debate, a little discussion about it. With the rise of digital games, streaming video games online like Steam and Game Pass, and even streaming consoles like the Steam Deck and the Logitech G Cloud, or even the Xbox Series S, are physical games on their deathbed? More and more developers are choosing to go to the route of digital only gaming and leaving the physical CDs and cartridges to the wayside is honestly a sad thing to see. So today I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of owning both physical and digital games. As someone who owns primarily physical games, I do understand the benefits of digital games and this is the future that we're heading to, but also I want to remind those that are digital only that the benefits of owning physical games are just as great as well. So the pros of physical games. You actually own the game. It is physically yours as soon as you buy it from whatever retailer it's your property until you decide you don't want it anymore. Having a tangible copy of a game that is 100% yours is a lot more reassuring that I can pluck it out of my own collection whenever I want to. And if you don't want it anymore, you can always get rid of it. Which leads to my next point, you can trade or sell it. If you don't like the game or feel like you got what you needed out of it or wanted a different version of it, you can always return it, sell it, or trade it in for another game you want. Also, with trading, you can trade or lend games between friends or family. My brother and I have been doing that for years. If he has a game that I think is interesting, he lets me borrow it for a bit, and vice versa. I think being able to tra trade, lend, or borrow games can allow you to be introduced to games you've never heard of or never had the opportunity to play. Collecting. If you're a video game collector, being able to physically see all your games lined up one another is fun and exciting to experience, and also can carry memories from whenever you bought the game. For example, I still have my Nintendo Dogs game that I played from 2005 that I still cherish and want to keep until I can't play it anymore. Plus, I can pass it down to these games to my kids and share the memories with them as well. Also, you don't need internet connection to play them. Since you have the physical game, you can pick any game whenever and wherever, which is always a plus. Now, of course, there are some great things with physical games. There are also some cons as well. It can take up space. If you have a pretty big collection of physical games, you will be faced with the problem of where to put them all. Whether that be on some bookshelves, plastic bins in the garage, drawers in the house, or if you're really fancy, a gaming room. At the end of the day, it will take a lot of space. Discs and cartridges can deteriorate over time. If you're not taking care of your physical games, they can get damaged over time, which is never a fun situation, especially with older cartridges like the SNS or N64 cartridges, or even CD discs. If not taken care of, it can be scratched up and not playable anymore, which is never fun. Side note, I am aware that emulation is a thing, especially for older games that have not been ported to modern consoles, but that is another discussion for another day. Another con is sometimes it's more expensive, especially over time when a game has been out for a while, sometimes buying the digital copy is the more affordable option. 
especially with Switch games or mainline Nintendo games when they rarely go on sale physically but have quite a few deals throughout the year digitally. It's a lot more convenient. If you want to play the game right away, all you have to do is wait for the download and you're ready to go. Especially for new releases, as soon as that game drops you can play it right away and not have to wait for the game to arrive at your doorstep or hope that your local retailer will have it in stock. It's a lot more portable. Even though the Switch is a portable device, if you're a mood gamer like me and want to have options, you might want to bring multiple games with you, but that can take up space. Both gaming devices like the Steam Deck, or just the Switch in general, you can have your whole gaming library with you at all times. You can't lose or misplace them. All your games are all in one place, and you don't have to worry of misplacing your game or losing it somewhere because they're all in one device. Also, I think another point that people might not even look at is that it's more environmentally conscious. Getting games digitally is a better alternative for the environment, even though not all developers and servers are carbon neutral. By going digital, you can minimize the shipping costs and the pollution that comes from that, as well as the excess of gaming cartridges and CDs that are not great for the environment either. Also, there are better deals. More often than not, digital games go on sale more often than physical games do. So if there's a game that you've been waiting to drop in price or you've been eyeing for a while, the digital copy is probably your best bet. Now, of course, there's definitely going to be some cons as well when it comes to digital games. Um, con number one, you don't really own the game. Even though you bought the game with your own money, you don't actually have legal ownership of the game. You own the license to the software, but not the actual software itself. If the digital storefront closes, you're screwed. Well, not really, but you have a limited window to buy the games digitally, or you're left to buy it physically, and those prices can vary from either high or really high. You can't resell it. If you bought a game and it turned out to be crap, you're kind of stuck with that game and you're short a few bucks. Well, not really a few bucks because games and names are pretty expensive. Yes, you can delete it from your library, but getting your money back is not a guarantee. So this video was just a fun little shits and giggles kind of thing just to talk about the current state of the game industry and how digital and physical games are planning out today. Again, it's just a fun little discussion and debate that I wanted to talk about it because it's been on my mind for a while. At the end of the day, it really doesn't really matter too much, per se, and whether or not you prefer physical or digital games. However, there is a thing of concern on whether or not physical games will be a viable option for gaming in the near future. But guys, if you have any opinions or thoughts on whether you prefer physical or digital games, definitely comment down below what your take on this debate is. As well as, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. And you should definitely follow me on my other social platforms at Cozy Feji on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good one. Bye!